Good morning, this is Aramel Magalas, your subject teacher for Information and Communications Technology, Computer Hardware Servicing Line, Occupational Health and Safety Policies and Procedures. Before we proceed on the lesson proper, take a look on this video. Workplace Safety Why, how often, and to whom do workplace accidents occur? How often do accidents occur in the workplace? A lot more often than people think. Every year, over 3 million workers are injured on the job. And there are about 5,000 deaths each year in the workplace. Who is injured most often at work? It is younger workers. Workers who are between the ages of 15 and 25. These workers are twice as likely to be injured at work. Almost 1 million end up in the emergency center each year. An average of 600 die from fatal work injuries. Why are younger workers injured at work more often than older workers? Well, many younger workers lack experience or proper training. Some may be less likely to speak up and ask questions. Younger people tend to take more risk and tend to do jobs that are more dangerous. When it comes to accidents in the workplace, which ones are most common? Slips, trips, and falls. These are the most common types of workplace accidents. It is estimated that there are 25,000 slip, trips, and falls each day at work. They count for 25% of all workplace injuries and 15% of fatalities. Be careful not to underestimate the seriousness of slip, trips, and falls. For instance, if a person falls on their head from only three feet high, it will cause injuries similar to running as fast as you can into a brick wall. When analyzing the causes of workplace accidents, what are the most common? There are five. Laziness, being distracted or tired, alcohol and drug use, overconfidence, and ignoring safety procedures and rules. Laziness, this is when a worker tries to take a shortcut in doing a certain task. When working with dangerous tools or machines, taking a shortcut exposes a person to unnecessary risk and potential danger. Being distracted or tired is another very common cause of accidents in the workplace. You need to be 100% focused on your task and your surroundings. Not paying attention for a fraction of a second can lead to a serious accident. Another common cause of accidents, alcohol and drug use. To be safe at work, you need 100% of your capabilities. Drugs or alcohol will slow a worker's reaction time and make him or her more careless or clumsy. Overconfidence can also be a cause of accidents at work, especially with younger workers. This is when a worker feels they are invincible or they are so good at their job that nothing bad could happen to them. The last cause of accidents in the workplace, ignoring safety procedures or rules. Safety rules and procedures are created to prevent accidents. Ignoring them will eventually lead to someone getting hurt and possibly killed. When you look closely at the common causes of workplace accidents, what do you think links them all together? What links them together is a lack of awareness and focus on the job site. More often than not, the person involved were not, were not thinking of safety or keeping it
using accidental report form. This enable us to track the kinds of hazards we have in our work area and take actions where necessary to make it safer for all students and clients. Accidental report form. Accidental report contains the following details. 1. Name of the person injured. Date and time of the accident. Type of injury. First aid given. Action taken to prevent further accidents. Here is an example of incident report format. There are many hazards that can happen in a workplace. And here are some of those. Hazardous substance. Here are the possible things we can do when we encounter hazardous substances. Number one is to call the supervisor or manager and advise them of the problem and the urgency of the matter. Depending on the risk, it may be called as an evacuation. Follow the evacuation procedure. The supervisor or manager will call in the fire brigade or specialized personnel who will deal with the spill. Fire exits All fire exits should be kept clear of from obstacles. All students have a responsibility to make sure that chairs, empty boxes, or any other type of obstacles are not placed in or near fire exit doorways. All corridors also need to have equipment stored on one side only to ensure that in the event of an emergency, there is a clear exit. Fire Safety Procedure Number 1. Assess the danger prior to doing anything. Number 2. If it is safe to move, assist anyone in the vicinity of the fire away from danger. Number 3. If it is possible, close the door to the fire area. 3. Call for assistance. Verbally call fire, fire in a loud and clear voice. Number 5. Break the glass section of the fire alarm call point. 6. Call to the switch. Ensure you know where the fire is. Any other details that may be assistance to the fire brigade. If safe to do so, attack the fire with the correct extinguisher or fire hose. If the designated fire officer is not present, someone quickly needs to take responsibility and Number one is to locate the source of the fire. Number two, locate any people. Three, remove all people from the building. Four, once outside, do a head count. And last is to notify the authorities. Personal safety while working with personal computer. Number one, wear shoes with non-conductive rubber soles to help reduce the chance of being shocked or seriously injured in an electrical accident. Number two, do not work on components that are plugged into their power source. Three, do not remove expansion cards from a computer when it is turned on. Four, remove jewelries when working inside any computer-related equipment. Five, be sure not to mix electronic components and water. Thank you for listening. This has been Sir O.